Hi, I'm Lee Stevens from easycurtains.co.uk and I want to show you quickly how simple it is to fit one of our corded bay window curtain tracks. So before we get involved in the fitting, let's have a quick look at the track itself and we can look at the brackets and see how they're spaced out and how they clip on and other details. So let's go and have a quick look at it. So we've got the uh, corded bay track on the table now and we're looking at the brackets. These are ceiling brackets that are evenly spaced around this track. On this size, we've got two on each side and we've got three in the middle. We'll have a wall bracket on each return end, which we'll have a look at shortly. So here we go. In the middle here, we've got a bracket fitted already, a ceiling bracket. Now these are click fit. That's the bracket here little lip on here and we have a little ridge on the top of the track on the front and the back and that little lip goes on the ridge just clicks up and in place once you drive the screw through the brackets to secure it it'll lock that bracket firmly onto the track and then afterwards we have little covers you can put on just to neaten up the lock now down here on the cord end we have a cord loop now this cord loop by law now has to be one and a half meters off the floor once a track is fitted. So you'll be asked for the installation height of the track, where it's going to fit above the window, down to the floor, we'll work out the cord lengths to meet the regulations. So that's it now. So let's go and have a quick look at how to fit this track over your window. We're gonna start with the wall brackets on each side and then we're gonna secure the ceiling brackets within the bay. So let's go and have a quick look. Okay, so we've got the wall brackets now here that we're gonna fit on each side of the bay. Now these have a fixing hole over the top and underneath. And you're gonna need almost certainly to put, present the bracket over the window, mark through the fixing holes, use a six mil masonry drill bit to drill the holes, then use the plugs and screws supplied. Now this bracket, you're going to measure in the ceiling a line straight across and put a little mark here but then you're going to measure up two centimetres further so that the top of the bracket sits two centimetres above the level in the ceiling. You also want to measure out 14, 15 centimetres from the corner of the bay. So when you secure the bracket in position, when it turns out, it'll be comfortable to click the track into place. Now, there's a little lip on the front of this bracket and the track will hook into the lip twist upwards and click in and then be secured by the screw underneath the bracket. So we're just going to fix this bracket in place now and we're going to repeat this on the other side of the window. So we've got one wall bracket on each side ready for the track to click into. Now I'm fortunate today that my display is just plasterboard and there's a nice piece of timber behind, behind here so I don't need to worry about uh, drilling and plugging. Now we've got the bracket secured, we've got a cover that just makes it look neater and hides the screws. So we clip that in place. Now we repeat the same thing on the other side for the other bracket, pencil line across, two centimeters up, 14, 15 centimeters out from the corner of the bay and the next step now is to click the brackets, uh, the track into these brackets, and then we're going to secure the brackets into the ceiling within the bay. So let's go and have a quick look at that. Okay, so we've got the track now, and uh, we're going to lock it into the, the wall brackets on each side. So you'll need somebody on the other side to hold it up in place while you fix this side. And we're just going to clip this now into the lip on the front of the bracket and twist it up backwards so that you can hear the click and then with the little screw underneath we're just going to tighten that so we can secure it into the bracket. You'll do the same on the other side of the bay. Now the next step is to put a screw into the ceiling to hold the track up within the bay and all we're going to do is we're going to drive the screw directly into the ceiling. We're going to repeat that for all the brackets all the way around the bay. Then the next step is, if we're not happy that the screws into the ceiling are really secure, then we can revisit each bracket in turn and we can move the bracket over, drill it, plug it, put the screw back in and secure it properly. So let's have a quick look at doing one of those now so that you can see exactly what needs to be done. 
Okay, so now we're going to revisit one of the brackets that needs a bit of attention because we're not happy. So we're going to remove the screw because it wasn't secured as tightly as we'd like. So we slide the bracket over now and we're going to drill a hole with a six millimeter masonry drill bit. We're just going to push the plug into the hole with our thumb, slide the bracket back over and we're going to just reinsert the screw and we've got a nice firm fixing there now to the ceiling and um, finally as I showed you earlier we have a little cover that clips over and gives a really neat finish so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at the cord tensioner that keeps the cords under tension and under control at the side of the window so let's go and have a quick look at that Okay, so we've got the cord loop hanging down at the side of the window now, and because of child safety laws, this has got to be secured to the wall. So we've got a cord tensioner here, and at the front, there's a little space for us to hook the cord through into the pulley. So there we go. Now, previously, I've marked and drilled two holes ready to plug this into place and screw it into place. Now. Once you've got this in position and you've marked where you want it, you need to remove the cord from the loop. You can then hold it in position like so. You can obviously mark your drill holes and we're just going to screw this back into place now. Now you can't fix this with the cord in the tensioner because it just gets in the way. And now that we've got it here, we can now pull it up on the spring and get the cord in. Now that holds everything securely and we can operate the cord and everything's nice and neat. So um, that's the final step uh, in fixing your corded bay track into a bay window. So once you've got your curtains hanging, it's just a simple process of pulling the cords one way to open and pulling the cords the other way so they meet in the middle. And you're ready now to start hanging your curtains and hooking them into the eyelets that are in the top here. Um, pin hooks or nylon hooks will do depending on the style of curtains you're going to hang. So um, thank you very much for watching and I hope this video was useful.